Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the sum of absolute differences in a sorted array problem. And it is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1685. So in this problem you are given with an integer array nums which is uh, already in a sorted order in a non-decreasing sorted order. So we have to build and return an integer array result with the same length as the nums array but such that result of i is equal to the summation of absolute difference between the nums of i and all the other elements in the array. So in so, so let's consider an example. Suppose we have nums equal to 2, 3, 5. So here, you, suppose if nums of i is 2, so you have to do the absolute difference of 2 with all the other elements, that is here you, you have 3 and 5. So 2's absolute difference with 3 is actually 1 and with 5 it is 3 so absolute difference is done summation is done so it becomes 4 now 4 is the result so 4 is stored at the ith index because nums of i here i was 0 so 4 is stored at the 0th index similarly 3 is absolute difference done with 2 and 5 so it becomes 1 and 2 and the sum becomes 3 and for 5 it is done with 2 and 3 so the sum becomes 5 because 3 and 2 are the absolute differences. So the main objective of is to calculate the sum of absolute differences between the each element and the each other elements in the array. So the key observation here, what we can efficiently compute the result for uh, each element by considering the differences between consecutive elements. So we can use the differences between consecutive elements to efficiently calculate the absolute differences. And how we are going to do this? So, I am going to tell you the approach now. So, first we have to calculate the total sum of the array. And this sum is actually calculated because we are going to use two pointers left and right to store the sum of the array. So, this sum will be used to store the right part of the, right part of the array. Basically, used to compute the right part of the absolute difference. And then we will initialize the pointer as I told you, left and the right left to the start of the array, right to the end of the array and we are going to iterate through the array for each element nums of i and then calculate the absolute difference by a formula and in the formula we are going to use the left that represents the sum of elements to the left of nums of i and right that represents the uh, sum of elements to the right of nums of i and the uh, actual formula what we are going to use is that n into i minus left plus right minus n into nums dot length minus i minus 1. So n into i minus left plus right minus n minus n into nums dot length minus 1 minus i. So using this formula we are going to calculate the result and uh, this is how uh, we get the result and we finally store the result in the array and return. So this is the approach what we are going to follow. Now let's come to the code section. So first of all we will define the sum and we will calculate the sum as well. So in 10 equal to sum plus equal to n <coughs> so int left equal to 0 int right equal to sum we have fixed the pointer then we will declare the result array then we are going to iterate through the nums array n is set to nums of i the actual in the formula it was we have written n so that was nums of i and right we are going to calculate by 
diff subtracting the right from the nums of uh, and subtracting the n from the right we are going to calculate the sum of the elements at the right part of the array so after this we finally going to use the formula so the formula was n into i minus left plus right minus n into nums dot length minus 1 minus i it is actually minus i minus 1 otherwise you will get confused and uh, here only you have to do a left plus equal to n and uh, you return n sorry r so let's try to submit it for the sample test cases it seems fine now let's submit it for the hidden test cases as well so yeah it passes the hidden test case as well with the good time complexity and space complexity it's beat 99% in the time 85% in the space so let's talk about the time complexity and the space complexity as well of the solution so the time complexity is o of n because we iterate through the array once actually twice but uh, o of 2n is uh, also equal to o of n because we do not consider the constants and the space complexity is also of n because we are using an output array but we have to use that so mm, uh, space complexity is also often I hope you like the video if you want the solution in a different language C++ Python or JavaScript you can go to the solutions panel here you can see my solution this one go here and below you have the first you have the Java code then C++ code then Python and then JavaScript also you can upload my solution and uh, if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and like the video as well and my thank you for watching the video have a nice day